Hi, let's learn how to create this fun animated roadmap in PowerPoint. On a click, we have an arrow dramatically revealing the first point in the roadmap. Then on a click, we show the second point along the roadmap, then the third one, the fourth one, and the final one, and then the arrow leaves the scene. It's a simple roadmap, but it's difficult to take your eyes off this interesting animation. So let us learn how to create this animation from scratch. Before that, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We share creative PowerPoint ideas to help professionals like you create engaging presentations. The first step is to draw the roadmap. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From Lines, let us pick up the Line tool and let us have the first line drawn like this. I'm going to have this in white color and let me increase the size of this to somewhere around four and a half points or even six points. Then let us draw another line. Let us go to the lines tool again and then this time hold the shift button down as you draw the line. That allows you to create a perfect 45 degree angle to the line. Once again, this will have the same properties as the previous one. We will continue to draw the roadmap and then we will have everything formatted the same way. So let us select this, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. Then let us go to rotate, flip horizontal and then let us place this over here. Once again, let us select everything, press Ctrl D and then place this over here. Now we have got five of the points, one, two, three, four, five. Now let us have the same line drawn here again. Let us move this and place it over here. Now let me make a small change to the property of this line. So let us right click on this, go to format shape, go to line. And then here in the cap type, instead of flat, I'm going to choose round and the join type, I'm going to choose round as well. Now you can see that we have a round edge that allows us to combine these various lines quite nicely. Let us select this, then go to home and double click on the format painter and then click here, 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 here and here. So all of these lines have the same properties. Now let me hit escape so I can claim the cursor back. Make your final adjustments to ensure that everything is aligned properly. Now that we have the roadmap in place, it is time for us to introduce the various events. So let me go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From block arrows, let us pick up this one, the first one called as arrow right, and then let us draw it like this, and then make some small adjustment to the way in which the arrow looks. Let me slightly reduce the size and keep it somewhere over here. Yeah, that looks good. Now let us change the color to something more dramatic. Maybe I can have it in this yellow color. Go to shape outline and say no outline. And let us introduce this by having a fly in animation. So let us select this, go to animations and let us keep the animation pane open so you can follow what I'm going to do. Let us select this and have this as fly in animation. And this happens from left. Let us increase the duration of this to one second and then while this flies in, let us have this wiped in as well. So let us select this and then use wipe from left and that happens with previous and this also happens for one second. Now when I go to slideshow, this is how the arrow introduces the first event on the scene. Now let us go to home and let us pick up the text box tool and let us write some text. And this text wipes right after this arrow comes into place. So let us select this, go to animations and then say wipe from top. And this happens after previous. So far we introduced one point. Now this arrow needs to turn by 45 degrees. So let us select this, add animation, go to spin. And here we have the animation event and you can see by default it goes by 360 degrees. So let us go here, go to effect options and then say this needs to be counterclockwise and this needs to turn by 45 degrees and hit enter. Hitting enter is important, otherwise the entry won't be accepted. Now we have 45 degree counterclockwise and then we say okay. Now it turns like that. Of course it is very slow. So we need to have this by 0.25 seconds. And then this goes from here to here. So let us select this, add animation, and then let us have motion path animation. Let us have it move up and then the end point of this needs to be at this point here. Now we need to go here and reduce the duration to one second. And we need to have this happen after previous. And while this moves from here to here, we need to have this line appear as well. So let us go to wipe and say from left. And this also happens for one second. And this happens with previous. So this turns around, 
and it moves from here to here and the line wipes in and the result looks like this. So this is the first event, turns and then it reveals the second event. Now right after that, we need to select this, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and then you place this over here and now you've got your second point revealed. The next step is to have it move from here to here. Once again, it's fairly simple. Let us select this, add animation and this time it needs to spin by 90 degrees. So let us select this, go to effect options, it is clockwise and we need to have quarter spin. And this needs to turn for 0.25 seconds. So let us go here and say 0.25 seconds. And right after that, this moves from here to here. So let us select this, add animation. And then once again, go to motion path, line animation. And we can have the starting point as this one, where the previous animation ended and the end point needs to be here and this needs to happen after previous for a duration of one second and hit enter and then we have the line wiping in from top and this happens with previous for one second and hit enter and then we have the same text once again presented here this is a placeholder now when i go to slideshow on a click i introduce the first point like this and then the second point like this and then the third point like this of course this seems to be a little too close so we can move it a little up and we can also have this wipe from bottom so it is unobtrusive now when i go to slideshow this is perfect this is beautiful and then we have the next point shown so once you have this much done it is only a matter of continuing to have as many events along the path as you need with a bit of creativity, you can make your timelines quite interesting. Let me show you some example templates taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle that shows you how to add creative custom animation to your timelines. This is a three-point timeline. On a click, we have the first point, the second one, and the third one shown. Another example is this one where the first point is shown and the second point and the final point. Another example is this one, which is a concept animation. You can see the transition from present to future a hand comes and draws the path so that the movement happens from the present to future. Another example is this one where we showcase three pictures for this timeline. We show the second picture and the third picture. Of course, you can replace these pictures with your own picture quite easily. The last example is this one where we show four milestones in a very interesting fashion. On a click, we shed the light on the road. Then we have the second milestone the third milestone and the fourth milestone shown. If you like these templates, there are 4,200 more available in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. You can click on the link in the description box below the video and check out more details about this beautiful product. So go ahead, click on the link in the description box below the video and check out our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. I'll see you in the next video.